A good evening, everyone. Um, I believe you can hear me. I will be muting everyone initially. Uh, we are going to a more or less interactive section tonight. Um, it's going to be our last section for listening. And um, I, I want to expect that um, every doubt that is left around listening will be dealt with. If you have any difficulties um, with the audio, just um, check on the chat room. Um, press the just press up on the um, on the um, I am audio icon twice. Press on the audio icon icon twice. The audio icon twice. You'll be able to hear me clearly. So um, I'm so impressed again um, that so many of us were able to get the assignments done. I'm quite impressed at that. It's, that's really showing a level of commitment. That's showing a level of um, real um, uh, pursuit. And um, I think it's a beautiful one. Now, uh, there were uh, varieties of math that I observed. I saw some people getting very high marks, 36, 35. 34 and all that. Why some are getting low marks like 27, 28, 24? Now, um, I like to say that um, it, it is the parameters that um, is going to determine the level of your score. How good, how, how good you are with the parameters will determine the level of somebody specifically told me properly and she could express properly were the areas where she actually did not get the answers right and so what that means is she needed to improve on that parameter and then um I, I think i gave about four parameters i believe that those who had very cool very high um high, high level of proficiency in those areas that um um, I, I talked about yesterday are very likely to have very good scores. Or very, let, let me put it this way: those who were able to have, uh, those who previously had high proficiency with the parameters for listening, are likely to have high scores in their uh, a very high score in this um, assignment. Why those who have low proficiency will have um, low score? So all you just need to do is know your weak areas now i think some i don't know whether somebody was talking to me about um not sure of the answers and all that now i want you to know something about um, some of these tests you may not really get everything sometimes you miss one or two because of this but please do not crucify yourself the more important thing is you should get at least 30 and above that is the required score once you have 30 and above you are fine probably you can have 32 or 34 that's all right but don't give yourself um, a pressure if, you, if you're able to get above the um, I, I, mean, I mean if you're not getting everything please just ensure that you work on your proficiency now I'm going to be um, asking one or two people persons to tell me their experiences with the writing test and after that I'm going to be playing a right a, a, an audio here to teach us how to pick keywords. That is the most um, 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 immediate skill that you need to build up aside um, the skill of, um, hear, of, of hearing assent and um, um, ability to, to preempt what the speaker is saying. All the, the first two um, parameters could be dealt with outside the exam. But this one of picking keywords must be something you are used to before the exam and you must have practiced many times. So um, I'm going to try and um, you know play one or two of these things. But I, I like to ask, please, it's going to be an open thing. Um, who would like to let us know um, the experiences in trying to apply the instructions that were passed yesterday? Was it difficult? 
was it um, complicated or was it um, not uh, very exactly uh, easy as it was predicted? And uh, what were the little um, skirmishes that, 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 were, that, were, um, that were confronted in the process of um, the use of those, um, of, of, of this skill? I'd like to know. Somebody said it's not hearing me. If you're not hearing me, I, I just hope everybody, if you're not hearing me, just let me know. I'm, I'm trying to speak <laughs> at the, <laughs> Uh, um, the, the, at least the way I could speak, I, I believe I'm not. I, I'm not speaking too low, but please let anyone speak up. Please adjust your speaker or something. Adjust your speaker or adjust your your sound or something. So you can, if you want to speak, you can just unmute. It's more or less an interactive thing. Um, I is a practical class, and um, practice is the first parameter that determines your success in night. If all you do is do lessons, do lessons, do lessons, jot notes, jot notes, and they say, how many times, how many practice have you done? Say, no practice, so I'm just, I'm just getting, I'm just going to YouTube, I'm going to, to, um, to all the tips. The issue will be that you just have the information, you will not have any, any skill. It's until you actually get to practice repeatedly that you can be, you'll be able to know whether those things you are hearing is already part of you or not. So you must have the resources, and that's why I, I think I, I, I gave the a, a link for the Cambridge 1 to 14 that you can download. It's on the Telegram page. Just scroll backwards. You can download Cambridge 1 to 14. The, I think the audio and the PDF. Download everything. And if you do not have, you can tell me personally. I will be able to. I will get the. Um, I will get some for you to so just to have it because that is going to prove your proficiency. In Cambridge 1 to 14, there are 56 tests you can do. 56 tests from 1 to 14 that you can do um, that is going to like test your proficiency. So you need to do so I'm waiting for anybody. Please feel free. Let me know your experience well, with um, with with um, the somebody has not hearing me. Please, if you're not hearing me, me, is everybody hearing me, please? Yeah. Please, if you're hearing me, just send a yes to the chat room. If you're hearing me, let's just send a yes to the chat room. If yes. That's true. Okay. Oh, so because I'm surprised. Some people say you're not hearing me. So I'm wondering whether it's everybody or it's just me personally. Okay. I think I'm here. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing quite a number of people that are hearing me. So maybe you just um, double press. Please, somebody should help others that are not hearing. Just send, let them know what to do. Whether to press um, no. the icon, this um, press the audio icon twice. This audio be able to hear okay, okay. I think I think people are, I think a lot of people are hearing me. Please, please kindly to her. Please, thank you, thank you for it. So I want to know what was your experience yesterday with, with the um skills that were discussed, the the instructions that were discussed about dealing with. Send what you could talk, please. I'm asking everybody again because um, I observe somebody talking at the background. But please, if you want to speak up, just unmute and speak. Okay. Or do I pick anybody at random? <laughs> because everybody is looking at me. <laughs> Do I do a random pick? Of course, I believe everybody should have done the assignment. If you're in this class, you should do the assignment. So um, I should just pick, all right, um, I'm going to pick a random. If, if, if once you see me request for your mode, then I'll fix you. OK, I'm doing the random pick. OK. OK, now I'm picking somebody right now. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Deoshin, please can you help us? What was your experience now? <laughs> uh, well, my experience is fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Initially, I thought I won't be able to do it. Though, okay. this was my test schedule. I was able to really do it and I enjoyed doing it because uh, uh, 
it, I was not able to really hear what they were really saying initially. But when I took time to listen very well, I could pick some words. So once I started now, I think I can <laughs> run the race. And I know okay. I can do it okay. very well. That's a good one. Thank you very much, ma'am. Um, can I have maybe one other person? Let me, let me, I said I should pick. So once you see me requesting for your moot, whatever, I just know I'm picking you. Okay, I'm picking somebody else now. All right. I, I pick, I, your daddy loving now. I don't know the person by face, but if you are, if you saw me or moot your audio, no, I'm speaking, you just tell us your experience with the, with the, with the, with the assignment. Because you see, if you cannot be practical about this text, I'm just telling you, 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 it's as good as wasting time coming for this lesson. If you cannot do assignments, it's as good as a time wasting venture. I'm telling you the truth because practice is the major thing. If practice is not going, to, it's, it's, it's not happening, then we are not doing anything. We are wasting time. And so you need to test your proficiency. You need to know what each level you are. You need to know whether actually ready for an IS exam or not and that will come from life practice life practice okay please um, I don't know Jen, Jennifer let me let me find the name okay uh, okay okay please let me, um, you can unmute yourself or probably unmute hey, can you hear me yeah, can yeah you hear good you, evening everyone oh two people are speaking now who is speaking who is, who is deciding to step down for the other Okay, sure. Yeah. Hello. Is it, is it, or Jennifer. I have you now on the line. All right, I please. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's, um, Jennifer, please hold up for Lovina. Let us speak. Then you speak after. Thank you. Okay. So, well, Good evening, sir. Good evening, evening, everyone. Welcome. Good evening. You're welcome. Man. Thank you. Init initially, it was tough. But when I listened to it over and over again, I was able to pick the answer. Okay. Now, um, I, I think somebody submitted to me today and said he did it twice or twice. I said, no, that's got a compromise. Now, um, I, I, I need to reinforce this, this very clear fact. It is better for you to read the passage three or four times before you listen to the audio than to listen to the audio and pause in the middle. <laughs> did you get what I just said now? That this is the passage for the, this is the, um, I'm calling the question passage, okay? This is the question for the audio. I'm, re I'm reading the question. I'm understanding the question. I'm taking the keywords for the question. And I'm doing it like four or five times. Then I now listen to the audio. It's better to do that than to listen to the audio and then pause in the middle, rewind, play again, rewind, play again. That is going to bring a mass compromise to your test and to not be a true nature of your proficiency to not test your real proficiency are you getting me now i've seen people that did that and then they and then um so, okay they were getting 37 39 and all that and then they go to the exam and then found out that they are six six or oh, five point five and then ah what happened is because they didn't really never were able to test themselves properly. They thought they were good because they were not using the right method. So what I will um, encourage is, why not um, understand the principle of reading ahead? Now, let, let, let me give a little version to this while I try to um, play an audio here. You see, you, you, you have a field, all right? And then there is a key lost in the field. And the field that the key is lost, you know the field, you know the parameters of the, you mean you know the, the, the length and breadth of the field, I know the key is there, you are sure, but you cannot exactly say the exact point where the key was lost, all right? So you're not even a touch light to look for the key, but the key was lost while you are playing football, or you are probably while you are passing by. So why doesn't just reflect, where did I pass? How did I go? No, those questions are going to be like clues. They're not a judge that goes to that like the most likely place you went to. And that is that's what happens when you use your questions to pick your, your conversation. Now, the, the questions are, are going to be asked around the conversation. So there are going to there will be some words that are in the, in the question that will be mentioned in the conversation. So 
you already pick the the, the cover the, the question the some keywords in the question and you are waiting to listen to them in the conversation so when the when, when the conversation is going on you are waiting to listen to those questions and to to, to 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 the exact words and once the words are spoken just pay more attention and then you get your answer it's as simple as that so that's why i said it is better to read the passage as a way of maybe your start you are trying to start practicing you have not been so good read the passage over and over I mean, the questions over and over tick your keywords then by, by the time you are practicing like fourth the fourth or fifth time then you already get to a point where you can say that all right i think i can i can go with the i, I can start from where there's i mean where I, i'm meant to start and so at that level i would say you are already getting to become a guru you don't have to read the questions you just you just wait for them to start and then start reading your questions very fast now somebody asked a question on the page i said would they be giving you time to to listen to the question i mean to to, I mean, to, to read your question the answer is yes but the time they will give you will not be enough so you must have been reading the question before that time comes i'm i'm looking for the file so that i can just open and um I, i'm going to play a listening audio right now and um what i just want you to do is try to pay attention to um the um what is being said then you you have a bit of understanding about how these things work out okay this is cambridge 8 this was the cambridge that we did now i'm playing this right now cambridge ielts 8 okay. by university of cambridge now the moment you hear cambridge ielts 8 by university of cambridge you are expected to start reading your questions you don't say you don't wait until that until, until you now come to question one as soon as I start saying Cambridge IH8, you start looking at your questions and start reading it because the question will be given to you. So you just start reading question one, question two, mark the keywords, question three, mark the keywords, question four. Mark, now you, you're going to find that they will keep on speaking Published by Cambridge for 50 University seconds. Press. 50 this seconds. This recording is copyright. 50 seconds. That's a lot CD of time. One. Are, you, are you following me? And by the time, you know, Test they, they now tell you. Now you turn to question one. Recordings, and Just you will have done. to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions. All these things are and time, you have a chance to check your work. time investors. Just All the recordings this time will be played be the once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Now, now come to question one that he said it's already 49 seconds that 49 seconds you could have finished one to ten of i mean ticking of the keywords from one to ten and by the time you now say that on question one you may now have to come to question one and then you will be you will be marking the keywords the second time by that time your mind will, your mind will be able to to hold it you know there's a difference between ticking keywords i remember what you are ticking and then just ticking it just to know, okay, I'm ticking. There's a difference between the two. Now look at what they are going to say now. Section one. All right. You will hear a conversation between two friends called This George one is still story. Nina, if I was you, I continue festival. to read on. First, you have some time to look at questions one and two. Now this, this sometimes to look at question one and two is the time that is allocated to check the question originally. But it's too, the time is too short. Now look at the time. Just look at the space now. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You will see that there now, is an That is fourteen seconds. So they are giving you fourteen seconds to check number one and two. It is not enough. You could have actually checked up to number 15 if you are very fast. So now, if what they now tell you the, that you can now check the question, ideally, if you have not checked the question before, the tension of checking the question that time will not allow you to be able to remember the keywords. So coming back to check the questions is actually the best. So by the time you are, you are coming back, when they said, 
you have some time to check the question, you are, will have been checking the second time. And by that time, you will be able to remember the keywords. I will together, please. They will even now, they, they no more give examples right now. In, in, in the times past, they used to give examples, but now don't give examples anymore. So, but the thing is, don't waste the time. Now, as this um, stuff continue, they are going to be telling you to um, to um, check the answer. I can see we're going to have to go without food for the rest of the week. I'm coming. They give some time to check your answers. I can see we're going to have to go without food for the rest of the week. <laughs> we'll need to book four. Ah, wish we were students. Look, children, students, and senior citizens get a fifty percent discount give you time. on everything. If only. Now they are true. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now. This half a minute to check your answers is a lot of time to go on to number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, number 11, up to number 30. Now, for someone that is very wise, by the time they are giving like 50 minutes and 50 seconds and they are saying all the Cambridge uh, CD1, CD4, whatever, and you have gotten like number 15. When they say half a minute to check your answer, just go to number 16, continue. Continue, continue, continue. So when I now say, come uh, um, now talk to section two, all right? On coming to section, on getting back to section two, you are already moving, so you are checking the questions the second time. At that level, you will remember properly. And that is the issue. Now, if you are able to, um, you know, use your time properly, you will end up being able to check 31 to 40 up to twice or three times. And by the time you're able to check question one, that one to 40 up to three times, your mind will be on the keywords. Your mind will be on the keywords. And somebody was asking, what's the keywords? The keywords are the nouns and the verbs in the sentence, in, the, in that sentence. If it, wh whether it is multiple choice or whether it is not multiple choice, it's just your nouns and your verbs. Just underline those words and have it in your mind. You don't have to cram it. Just know it's in your mind that, okay, now, for example, now, in, the, in question one, the keyword is streets, 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 all right? So you have in your mind that the keywords for question one is streets. So you are waiting for them to mention streets. So as soon as they mention streets, maybe you understand, um, um, I mean, the address of the street is just pick, you know, your mind is, is turned up and then you are ready to, to write. Then once you are through with that writing, they're going to say some things in between before they mention the second keyword. By the time they are saying those things, you are already in question two, waiting for them to mention it. So some of us, we, we, we follow them as they are speaking. We follow them, but you can't, you can't successfully follow these guys. The truth is that that's the truth. You can't follow them successfully because they're going to go ahead of you. So the best thing is, once you are able to pick the keywords, just just go to the keyword that, that you're expecting to, to hear. They will say many things, but your mind is not with those things they are saying. Your mind is on the exact keyword that you want to hear. So as soon as you hear that, 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 that keyword and you write your answer, move to the second question, pick the keyword you're looking for, and then begin to wait for it. Are you getting this issue? So by the time you are waiting, you are waiting for them to mention it. As soon as they mention it, you go back to the question, you answer, you go to the third question. You are waiting for the third keyword. So it's not a matter of you following them. That, okay, let, uh, 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 as a matter of fact, you may not even have to, to listen to everything that they are, they are saying, but you may hear it. There is a thing hearing and listening. In hearing, you know that they are saying something. In listening, you are paying more attention. So at the point of mentioning those keywords, your attention is activated to be able to know. And that is the reason why many times they can easily distract. Many times they call our attention to distractions. They will mention those keywords at a, a bit earlier time, but they will mention the wrong answer. But if you are not paying full attention, you will, you will write down the, the wrong answer. An example, maybe the keyword is month, month. And you're waiting for them to mention month, month, month. As soon as they mention, um, so and so month, 
the month of the year is the sixth month. Because you are not paying attention, you rest this month, but they may change it. They may say, oh, I meant to say two months after. And by that time, you are waiting six months because your attention is, maybe you are afraid or whatever, you are not able to hear that extra word. So I want to encourage that you, pay, you, you put a lot of um, 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 commitments to getting the keywords right and then staying for the keywords, waiting ahead of the speaker, of the conversation, using the keywords as a tool to track the conversation. So as soon as the conversation is, 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 is said, you are able to track and you are able to get your answer. I, I hope this is quite clear. This is going to really help with 31 to 40. That is actually where the toughest questions come because sometimes they use synonyms for the keywords. But if you are really calm, you will pick the answer. If you are jittery, you will not pick the answer. But if you have read over time and are ahead of the, of the conversation, you will hear very clearly. So that is actually the in-exam skill. The other skills, talking about your hearing accent, preempting what they want to say, they are what you will develop as you watch movies, listen to news. And that. But this one I'm saying is the in-exam skills. And it will, now, multiple choice happens to be like the toughest aspect of this stuff. The reason is because um, there are many choices, and you are, sometimes you are you know, scanning between choices. You don't know which one you, you, you will likely pick. You are just going between choices. Okay, let me start, let me see. But the truth is that you must also underline all the keywords under the multiple choice. And once they start mentioning the major keyword, maybe the, maybe the question is, factors responsible for, or let me say, um, the things that are not allowed in the hotel. The things not allowed in the hotel. Are you following me, please? The things not allowed in the hotel. And then they mention number one, bags. Number two, um, food and drink. Number three, um, uh, um, whatever it is, maybe water. All right, okay, uh, let me use, uh, let me say cameras, okay? So the first one is bags, water, food, and drinks. I mean, my camera, food, and drink. I said, which two things are not allowed in the hotel? Now, you are expected to mark all the keywords in that question. Number one, two things allowed hotel. Those are the keywords for that one. Then you now move down to food, and drink, I mean food and drink, and then um, camera, and then the third one, you mark everything. So when you are listening, your attention is just to ensure you add not allowed. And then once you hear, this one may be allowed, this one should be allowed, this one could be allowed, you are honest, this one is not allowed, not allowed, not allowed. <laughs> because if your mind is not there, you will likely mix it. So you are, you are looking at all the options. The, from the first one, okay, and they will always mention in order. That's the truth. As I said, I'm not following. So you look at the first one, um, food. Food is not allowed. Camera is allowed, although not, 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 you, you cannot take it beyond the basement. So that means it's not allowed. <laughs> because if, 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 if your mind is switched away from the keywords you are pursuing, they will, they will dribble you. <laughs> That's the only thing they will do for. Once your mind switch away from the keyword you're pursuing, and you can start pursuing everything they want to say, you can't hear all, of, all, all, they want, all what they want to say. You can't hear everything. So your mind must be must must follow them using the keywords as a point of contact, and not the words they are saying because they will say many things. So training yourself to pick the keywords may be the only thing you need, and that's why I said it's better to read the passage rather than post the conversation. So for those of us that pause the conversation in between and you got 39, I'm sorry, it did not get 39. <laughs> it did not get 39. You only got maybe minus 10 of it. So let's try to um, uh, practice the act of picking our keywords rather than just pausing the conversation because that will actually help us to get better. 
All right. So um, I think I, I dealt with the issue of multiple choice right now. I dealt with the issue of keywords, and I also dealt with the issue of pausing in between. I don't know whether there are other things that anybody would like to ask about it because I, about listening because I'm going to be finishing listening tonight. Um, uh, after tonight, we will, we will, tomorrow we'll be moving to reading. So I, I want to see if there are still concerns about um, listening. If, if, if you want to improve your hearing accent, stop watching any, anything magical. Uh, as long as there's Africa behind it, um, anything that has to do with Sea World, um, anything that has to do with um, China movies, Mexican movies, all this and the Koboko and all this. Um, Neko, Neko, Elena, Elena, Hotel, Magic. Anything that's all this um, short, short place that we watch every, by every seven o'clock. Super story. We have to make cut them from now to come of the exam. All right. Then focus on movies from UK or Britain or you know US. Just, just so that you, you have to fit from Hollywood to Hollywood at least for now, and then links. CNN, those are just your companion. You can go to YouTube and download movies, and um, you know you start watching them like the reading book. I, I, I was I was telling someone that I'm, I was saying this morning on the order I sent. I will be doing that every morning. I have a schedule. In the morning, I'll be watching. I, I, I'll be listening to news. Okay, BBC news, seven to eight or six to seven. In the afternoon, I'll be watching maybe documentaries, or I'll be watching movies. Okay, in the night, or you may decide I'll be watching movies in the night. After I'll be watching documentaries, I will check one documentary on YouTube. And if you go to there's a particular um the, a particular Telegram handle, I think IX Studio or something. If you go on IX Studio, you will find a lot of short short movies there. But YouTubers a lot. So you just download anything, any movie you want on Netflix. You have to get on Netflix. But again, you can also download news app. On BBC News app, you're going to have access to a lot of videos. All right? BBC News app will give you access to a lot of videos that you can, like news now, news that you can watch anytime. BBC News app. And, um, no, but okay, okay, okay. I'm going to talk about that. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for for reminder. Now, BBC News app will allow you and assess you with a lot of videos on news, and then you can even that you can go on ten and, and check BBC Radio. Just listen to the BBC Radio. Just listen to the way they speak very fast. Then try and also get on TED.com, TED.com, TED.com. They have a lot of monologues there, packed, so many. Just you know, play with them, explore them, and then. Um, podcast. Now, I want to talk about instruction. Instruction, very important place. Now, some, some of us are able to hear the accent. We are able to pick what they have, they have said, but we write the wrong answer. Because the instruction says not more than one, one word. word. Yeah. Not more than two words. Not more than three words. Now, what they are after is your grammatical acumen. So, they expect you to, well, even when you pick your answer, does it fit this sentence? Are you following me now? So if what they said is the answer, and you put it in that place and it doesn't fit in, maybe you have to put D there to, for it to fit in. Just use your, your, your general grammatical um, um, knowledge to know whether it fits in or not. Very important. Now, more importantly, when you say no more than one word, no matter the intensity of the pressure that is inside your mind, just write one word. If you say no more than two words, write two words. If possible, write one word. If it's no more than two words, if possible. But if you will, if probably you can, you just that that one word. That grammar. That word. I, I, I hope we are clear with this, please. Please, we should be careful not to miss instructions. These guys are strict when it comes to instructions. No matter how beautiful. In fact, when we're practicing this thing at the early stage, I observe that sometimes I, I, I want to help the the uh, the exam the exam I, I used to think maybe they are wrong so I want to write a more correct answer and I get wrong so just be why I mean be, be, be very strict with obeying whatever they ask you to do don't be overwhelmed by your feelings of what you know just follow the instructions one word two words one number just write one number five seven just write it like that 
the way they are situated. Now, if you are not so sure that um, the small letter is going to fit in grammatic grammatically, maybe uh, the first letter is capital letter, other ones are small. Now, you are not sure whether it's going to fit in. Just write all the answers as capital letter from 1 to 40. All answers, capital letters. You, 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 you have your score. Okay. In reading, you can have nine. Very possible. All you just need is be, be aggressive in following the rule that will help you to hear what they are saying. Don't be carried away. You know, sometimes you are emotional. Wow, I got it. Wow, and you are jumping. But you see, you could have actually gotten another two answers by that simple waste of time. So don't be overwhelmed. If you get it or not, just move on to the next. Well, we're waiting for them. Why they mention? See, this thing is so simple. If 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 you know how to wait for them in the next at the next question, ah yeah, you will you will be getting this like water. That's the truth. But if you are always pursuing them, <laughs> you know some people say, by the time they finished the reading and the, the, the conversation, they're like, ah, I thought they were number 10. Ah <laughs> <laughs> number 40. Did they, did they fly? How did they get there? So you must learn to wait for them. And that will only start if you start before them. If you start behind them, you can't overtake them anymore. So that 50 seconds that was used to mention Cambridge English, CD for CD1, and um, conversation, you should just use that one to run ahead, run ahead, run ahead, run ahead. So you can get your answers, you can get the, um, the, the keywords earlier, then you can you know, stay very firm on whichever one you are going to. To, to decide to um, full flow it. I'm seeing questions flowing in, and I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. Now, they said, um, for, for, for example, in the test we did, section one, question three, four, five, the answer were more than one number. So that, so that means the instruction was not followed. I didn't get this. The answers were more than one number. Is it, the answers were not more than one number? I didn't, well, maybe, maybe we reframe this question now. I, I'll be able to get what you are saying. So now, follow the instructions strictly. If you say not more than one word and or a number, that means you are saying write one word and a number, or one word or one number, or one word and one number. So you see that a word is correct, a number is correct, a word and a number is correct. But make sure that you use your grammatical argument to know which one is, is, is most suitable for that particular score. It, it, and, and if you are marking, don't help yourself. You know, so even when they mark, say, ah, it just remain S, that it just S that's remaining. No, if you're helping yourself, the problem will be that when you get to the example and you see remarking, it's, it's, it's better to mark yourself down and get 6.5 in your practice. Then when you get to the example, you probably have seven or seven point five or down to be marking yourself up and getting nine, eight, nine, eight. And then under the exam condition, you are now having six. God forbid. So let's try to um, you know, give, give ourselves some level of strictness and schedule your time to build your skills. Don't just focus on practicing, 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 practicing. Do some skill build, skills building, listen to news watch movies don't uh, i mean don't just be practicing practicing is good is the is, is the major thing but you, you must build the foundation for that practice which is the skills or i mean the, the issue of hearing a sense if possible just have a year, permanent year piece stop hearing as a matter of fact i will encourage you yoruba, yoruba music or vernacular music just do it with it just focus on american music for now or foreign music you see what it does is that it, it, it has a way of tuning your ears to hear. I'm telling you, it has a way of tuning. Your ears will begin to open. I, I don't know whether you know of children that are just coming up gradually. It is what you see around them that they, they pick. If, if you keep speaking uh, uh, vernacular or Igbo, they will be just there speaking Igbo one day. Ah, well, who taught you? No, nobody taught him. Well, because he was hearing it. So you must just make right now. I'm, I'm advising you seriously now. Make your environment to be to be to be jam packed with foreign foreign English, correct foreign English. Whether you if possible, when you want to sleep, just put the earpiece. If you are an American preacher or or, or American um, um, documentary, just put it in your ears and just sleep with it. 
when you wake up, something happens to your ear, you are able to hear better. It's unconscious, but it's really true. So I, I'm seeing some questions. Let me see the questions that are coming in here. Okay. So yeah, okay. So uh, um, let me read this first one. They said, uh, "Can you explain?" The social said, "Not more than a number or two words." For example, from this, we did, we did in question five, which asked for phone number, and the numbers were more than one. Uh, ma, when they ask for phone number and they put the space, that phone number is regarded as a word. <laughs> it's really, that's a word. <laughs> when, you, when you see a phone number, it's just a, that's the I'm regarding is the word phone number as a word. So just see it like that, ma. Um, then uh, another question is coming up here. I'm sorry, please let me read this. I said, um, in the real exam, you are allowed to look at the question when the audio says you can now turn to section one. Well, in the real exam, you will be given the question paper and then. Um, you will be allowed to open the question paper once they start um, reading the audio. You have the, the, the freedom to open up the question paper before they start mentioning, I mean, NACO touch question one. So before they start, before they get the point of NACO touch question one, you could have read the instructions, you could have done a number of things. So it is actually your prerogative now to utilize the time that is in between uh, before they talk about point to question one. This is your prerogative, and that is why I said the wisdom is needed to be applied right now. So that wherever they tell you, check your answers, you are, you are checking your questions. <laughs> when they say check your answers, please check the questions. <laughs> That's the simple wisdom. Then, in number two, we said the answer was 25th of December, but the instruction was one word and a letter. This is my answer, but I saw 25th of December. Sir, you are wrong, sir. <laughs> you are wrong, sir, because they said. One word and or a number. Look at the word. Twenty fifth December. Twenty fifth is the word. December is the number. I mean, twenty fifth is the number. December is the word. But you wrote twenty fifth of that of is the second is is two words. Okay. Twenty fifth is one word. December. I mean, twenty fifth is one number. December is one word. So you wrote twenty fifth of that of made it two num two words. So you should follow it. You also write it. Learn your lesson here. Now, let me tell you something. You will use the answers, the model answers of these particular questions to learn your lessons of dealing with questions. Because for many of us, when we, when we came into listening, we're like, ah, what, what, what do you want to say? Let them bring the thing. So we're just listening. And then you are writing. So the way we write 9 p.m., so I wrote 9 p.m., 9 p dot m, or 9 point p point m. So now see the answer. Now they just write 9 p.m., no points. And ah, so did I miss, you miss it, sir? You miss it, man. Ah, so why is it not the point there? That is the way they are writing their night. Just follow it like that. Don't bother yourself. Just follow that 9 p.m. gently and go. And then when you get the exam, write it that way. You get your, you get your score. It's as simple as that. So use these questions to train yourself in the way you listen to um, instructions. Now, let, let me quickly see the next question coming in. Please, you can start setting a question, please. He said, is there negative marking? No, there's no negative marking. Oh, there's no penalty with going ahead of them. No penalty at all. It's actually an advantage. But do not open. See, do not open the script if you are not told to do so. If when you are told to open your script, everybody will be told to open. So once once you are told to open your script, the, the exam has started. Once they start mentioning the I mean, speaking on the audio, the exam has started. So, so once they are they tell you to open your script and you open it and they start speaking, you can start reading the instructions. There's no penalty at all. So it's only uh, an, 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 another, another advantage that you have. Then, um, if we use an alphabet, e.g., drinks, instead of drink, if you are wrong, yes, you are wrong. If you miss S, you are wrong. That's why you should listen carefully and pick every single dot, title of whatever they are saying. Don't miss it out. Now, I want to, I want to say something quickly about your, your concentration. I was trying to pick it yesterday. How do you flow with the speaker to the point that you don't get distracted? Is by taking yourself yourself to the point of their discussion and be a thought party. You can listen with your mind, not with your ears. Now, listening with your mind means that your mind is, is engrafted in the discussion. So you are not just listening to the, to the speaker. 
as a as someone that is listening from uh, uh, from from uh, from afar. You are listening like someone that is with them. So your mind is engrafted. You you see yourself as being in the hotel, working with the individuals working in the hotel. It's a thing you can train your mind to do, and that is that, and that means that when you are listening, that there, there must not be any any external distractions around you. So, sometimes you you have children playing phone calls and say sorry so, truth be told you are going to be missing a lot of questions and that's because your mind is not involved you need to get your mind involved in this stuff very heavily very heavily that will give you a um, advantage and that's that's how you bury your mind with the um conversation but in some of the answers they put bracket that bracket means possibility that you are right so if you see bracket that means the ones unbracketed could be the answer and the other one bracketed could also so they're giving you options in that case the two are right that is a different situation so that means they're telling you that you you may be right in under the two options yes you can send your assignment via the telegram page you can send the assignment via the telegram page as a matter of fact i would have loved that you could just send their scores there you, you can send your, your scores to me, but I would prefer that it's open so that everybody is able to move forward. And since it's an open um, class, what about correct answer with wrong spelling? Wrong, 100% wrong. Wrong spelling is error. So um, as you practice more, you get, I, I tell you the truth, as you listen more, you get to hear a lot of things. As you practice more, you get to get a lot of things right. So as you hear, you know a lot of things. As you write, you get some things right in your writing. So um, I would advise that we do a lot of readings too. Reading will help our, our spelling errors. So um, um, our mind must be grounded, our mind must, must be fully um, buried in whatever it is that we are hearing. So um, I don't know whether we have questions. We'll be having assignments tonight. We're going to be doing the second listening test. We're going to be having tests every single day of these um, classes. And it is to ensure that we are we are well ready. My aim for everyone in this class is that by the time we are through with the 20 days rigorous time of teachings or coaching, you are ready to write IELTS. You're going to be having a test on the last day um, of listening, reading, writing, and speaking. And if you are, if you pass that test, you can go for the exam. If you pass that test, you can go for the exam. So our aim, and that's why we are trying to ensure that every single day a test is done. So do not be afraid to get the test done and ensure that assignments are properly done. So I will give room for questions now. Um, I think people have been people already asking uh, uh, asking their questions, but please, if you want to ask um, openly, you can unmute and ask. You can write on the script during the exam. Yes, you can. Because you're actually not going to be, you're, you, the script will not be marked. It is, you're going to be transferring your answers 10 minutes after um, the, the, the test. You'll be given 10 minutes to transfer your answer. So that 10 minutes you are, use, you are, you are given to transfer your answer is actually expected that you, you know, um, the, the answer script to be marked, not the question script. So the questions you will answer inside it, then you transfer into the answer, into the answer script. So, you, you, you will, I mean, you will not have to use writing your question scripts, okay? So please, this time for, we can interact now. Yes, yes, to a different, it, it, there'll be a, a kind of script, you'll be able to, one to 40. Yeah, you'll be told to transfer there for 10 minutes, but it's not the same for it, you know. <laughs> okay, so um, do we have more questions, please, on listening? I think some people wanted to ask questions yesterday, but the network was not so good. So I think we have, um, quite a free time to do that. We, we know you can, you can. I think try to ask your question now, and uh, we have a lot of time. I believe we have a lot of time to do so. So, um, okay. Yes, you can underline. You can underline on your. That's the reason why it's question sheet. I, I, I think I advise people who doesn't have to scroll on the phone very well to get their um to get the questions printed out so that you can be able to underline there. Yes. I had Sandra concur with the man she was speaking with at the last part that she will include F and D. Why F for fighting was stronger? Ah, well, sorry, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot answer this question. <laughs> okay, I can't answer. Oh, I didn't really know what you were talking about. I, 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 I think we can ask, ask her questions now, please. 
um, please you can ask your questions and I think the door is open. Everyone, please, and let's be free. Okay. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, I'll put you, please. I would like to see your face if you can. If, um, uh, if I, 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 I have a question. And your name too, please, sorry. Yeah, I can always say yeah it, my face is showing. I can, you can, uh, that's why I'm in the okay. place, ready. Okay. On George, um, why Sandra uh, was a, can you hear me? Yeah, I can, please. But I'm not seeing your face. Why, yeah, George, why, right? why Sandra was communicating with, yes, I am. My face is showing. Okay. Okay, why Sandra was communicating with uh, uh, examiner, you know, in the course of the communication, at the latter part, I heard her clearly. She was concurring with the examiner and telling him that she would include uh, plants and animal life in her proposal, and as well as impact of tourism. Now, in the answer, uh, plants and animal life were there, and the impact of tourism was not there. You know, this was, it, it, she, she mentioned that this too, she agreed with the man. But while I was, while you we were uh, marking the answers, the, those two were not there. It was, um, I was a bit surprised when I, I did not see the other uh, one there, which is the impact of tourism uh, there. Then my next question is this. Sorry, in, um, before, I, before I ask the next question, please, what was now the answer when you checked? Okay, the, the answer was when I checked, the answer was, um, the answer was uh, BCF, which is uh, field trip activities. Uh, Geographical features and one of the ones she called to include, which is plants and animal life. Why the other one was not there? It is the impact of tourism. You know, I was really um, that she concurred that she would she, she, with a man that she would add to the proposal because um, I had that clearly. Okay. I don't know so go on. Right, so then, then my next question is this in number 29 and 30. In number uh, 29, the question is is Sandra says that, that they share the dash for transport. Sandra suggests, now in the communication, the answer should have been uh, to hire us and trek. Now, because they asked us that we we're going to just uh, put just one word. So in this situation, I just use my discretion to put us, but I put either us in this situation, or trek. And let me, let me assure you, my, I did not choose the us, I chose trek. Would I be wrong? Because so what was the, the two what was the were the means of transportation. She, I don't know if anybody, but she clearly said that you know, uh, at the cost of that communication, he said that it's better they hire us or trek because of the terrain of the place. It, it, it is not uh, motorable and all that. Now, that is for number 29. Then for number 30, that question is, I don't know how they framed it. It's completely out of place. I got it actually, but I used my discretion. <laughs> No, you know, no, I, I just no, used, no. I, in fact, I, I, I did the guest work because, you know, she said, the question said, she says they could also explore local, the local dash. 
in the course of that communication, I never heard her say anything like Luca. Not just that, I never heard her say anything like exploring anywhere or, you know, but, and, you know, explore can also have some synonyms. Luca, Luca too can also have some synonyms. But I try to figure out the explore and the look at the synonyms in this communication. I did not see any put in case because that is the only word I saw at that area where that commission was coming from. That is after no. the first the, the, the answer to the number 29, the question, I knew the answer would be after the communication. And the only thing I could figure out there was cave and I put the cave there. But I was right, but I don't know it's so now, now, Mr. George, let, let me let me help you to clear your doubts, okay? Then, sir, now, I also have one other question. Now, before you answer that question, let me clear this doubt quickly. That the okay. doubt can clear out. Now, we need to understand what is the strategy behind this this stuff. Is it an exam or a uh, a mere interview? What is the aim for this? exam i tell people i said when well, you're going for british council exam or idp or whatever it is their aim is that you come back again so the strategy is to bring a level of confusion to your average person so if you are not going to apply a skill very technical skill in being able to follow through the train of discussion and that's why i talked about bringing yourself to the discussion to be like part of the speakers, if possible, with your mind. You will be swayed by whatever they're going to say. Now, there is a difference between what they are saying, all right, and what they mean. You know, I talked about you of distraction earlier. There are some times that you will, in your mind, conclude that this is what they are saying. But they have already said something else before you knew it. And you may need to just have a lot of, you know, calculative. Um, 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 intelligence to be able to detect what they are saying, but this is actually even towards the end. The first 20 are usually straightforward, but importantly, once you're able to get the keyword, use your keyword to pick your answer. Once you're able to pick the answer and you, you are sure that's the answer, you move off. I, I have also tried to like contest with some of the answers too, but what I've discovered is that many times you know, we need to understand it from their view. It is their exam, not our own exam. And we need to look at it, we need to actually shift a bit from the way we actually conclude our, our thought system and our, our calculations around the words um, from what and how they view those things, especially in dealing with, and that is the reason why as you practice, you are relating directly with them and you are trying to pick their system of thoughts by the answers you pick and then you can give an explanation to the answers you pick and use that as a judgment for the next practice you're going to have so that by the time you have actually done like four or five six practice you are you are able to get used to some answers naturally and by that getting used you will not be swayed anymore are you getting me now now by the time you listen you look at the second i mean the, the, by the time we use the third, second test today or, or, or I mean, we keep on with the other test you, you get what I'm trying to say. Some things will not be new to you again, and you will be a club. You, 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 I will use the word, you, you will adjust to their system and strain of common. They are trying to bring us to them. And you see, that's the reason why in writing, I just want to just give a kind of distraction. In writing, <laughs> you are trying to write the way you write in Nigeria. And you are trying to use your own normal English of writing. They will tell that what is this? When we get writing, we hear some things, and that's why I, I want you to, you know, um, just get used to this reality of what you will be seen, seen as the answers, and what you may be finding as the, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, as how they twist their words in a way to, in a bit to confuse you. Get ready for this. It's a new reality, and get used to it. I will just I, I will just give that little advice for now. Okay. 
So you can ask yourself, I don't want to get my, my little answer, and I wish you can understand what I'm not trying to say. Otherwise, what we assume, you only get to assume, 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 and then when you have to take the exam, and when they mark, you will not be there. <laughs> you will not be there now. So your, the practice is going to allow you to have a, a lot a lot of people go and the class. Please, I'm sorry, I just had this distraction. So I guess you should just allow yourself to get used to the system or I want you to probably just do the question again. Then like look over the areas you had conflicts and then find out their mainstream. You will find it there. We don't have the time to do it together here, okay? But you're going to find what exactly brought about their answer. Just to, see, just to really calm down, look at it, look a bit from their perspective, rather than from your perspective, and you find out the answers, the basis for their answers. Somebody was trying to give an explanation to that here, um, in the writing here, I, I think. Okay. But I, 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 I know that. You will, have, you will have some conflicts. It's natural. But you should not allow it to affect you. You should not allow it to affect your stream of thought. And it's not allow it to affect um, uh, your, your, your own pursuit to actually get there, even at their own game. And that's why the, the skills that are, I mean, have been applied here, you will, not, you will not actually see things the way you see things anymore. But you need to actually go down to just pick from their perspective to get there. You get my point, sir. So you may ask your second question. Yeah, I get it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, yeah, I have. Okay. The, the next question is this: In um, number uh, thirty-two of the um, uh, assignment, is particular environment. We must use one word. I chose environment because that's a noun which I got. Then another one was the number 33. The answer was impact on the earth. Impact on the earth in number 33. And they said you pick one. Choose impact, which I got. What was the answer? If there's one word, yes. Yeah, impact was correct. Impact okay. was correct. It was correct. Okay. Impact. But okay. for the conversation, the answer should be impact on the earth. But if I'm choosing X words, instead of impact, pick if I'm choosing impact, just pick one word, sir. Just pick one word yeah. and pick the, the most the most um the most applicable word, the word that you feel is okay. Most, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Once they say pick one okay. word, just okay. pick it. Okay. Because yeah. if, mm. you see, mm. one thing about these guys is that mm. you 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 will when you probably travel, you understand what I'm trying to say. They are so strict with some things, and you should have understood that from the way they deal with some of these things that we actually um, are faced with. That's right, this exam. So, but you just you just get yourself to acclimatize with it. Mm. It's a new reality, and you, you're um, you're, mm. you're hearing them. We off. We get you to that point, but you must not allow um, um, yourself to be probably based by whatever it is that you see from these questions. And more are still coming, but you should just you know. Settle with this reality, and then at least uh, you, you, you get better quickly, right? So, um, can we have uh, um other questions, please? Maybe we should round up the questions now. How do we deal with time lapses in the assignment since each audio ends after a question? And well, for, the, for listening, you must you have to flow with the timing. It, it's strict. The timing is already regimented. The only thing that makes people to probably have more time is when they pause in between. And I said, do not join the pause company. Otherwise, you're going to find a lot of stress in the exam. Start the right way from the beginning so that you can continue that right way and you can get six weeks. Are you getting me now? 
Don't don't be power with your person in between. Rather pull it ahead. Let the reading ahead be the one you will pay more attention to. All right. And you can just you can, you can always continue. Once you get to the one, just continue the next one, continue the next one, something like that. And get on top. You can form a playlist on your phone. Okay, you can form a playlist on your phone for the four audio uh, for the four stops, and then let the playlist flow into each other. Just I like to you can just flow into each other for that particular time you are going to listen. So it just flows into each other, and then you are through. So you can you can, you can turn to a playlist on your phone, and then you are fine with that. Okay. Um. So um. I I I would like to say I think we we are we are we have a little bit of good time so far tonight. Um, okay, I think I understand the question. And so, um, we have a little bit of that, and I appreciate everyone. Right? And um, um, I, I think tomorrow we'll be going to reading. And reading, I, for me, reading is my favorite, right? And if you have a nice time, we'll be spending this on reading to, to, tomorrow to, to, um, to um, Friday. Okay. Um, Lights. Yes, lights. Yes, light. But tomorrow to Friday, we are going to be dealing with um, reading, and um, I expect that we have. It's going to be beautiful. Reading is, is interesting. When we read reading, they're like, "Wow, reading! Hey, what's well, really good? Reading is <laughs> it's um, it's interesting. You, you get to see that tomorrow. So I will, I will post the assignment on Twitter once again." And on Telegram once again, and then um, I will pray that we submit. Now, from tomorrow, we are going to be having double assignments listening, reading, listening, reading, listening till Friday. And then um, on Monday, we continue there. We continue from there. So, I appreciate us, I appreciate everyone. Um, I want to hand over to uh, Mr. Bella. I think you should be um, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, around the line right now, I think. Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Good, evening. Good evening. I just, I just Good finished evening. work. I had to pull over. I'm, I'm actually driving on my way home. Um, I, have, I have to say thank you all for joining. Well done, everyone. Mr. Steve, amazing job. Amazing. Um, this class is better than yesterday. And that's that's a good one. Yeah. Um, I, just, I just want to say that um, we can all share this opportunity with people we know. Hello. Yeah, I have yeah. Most share it on your social media. Share it with your friends. Um, it's just to say that it is possible to get IELTS training for free. You know, just yeah, just let us put this in the hearts of people, and hopefully they, they will start sharing this knowledge they have for free. Um, because in my, in my own opinion, it is hard enough. Uh, that nurses work and they earn very little money. You have to save money for your IELTS exam. You have to save money for a whole lot of other things you want to do. You want to get your international passport and things like that. You know, if people if people know IELTS, they can share it. You know, uh, that's that's just my own opinion. Yeah. Um, this is an opportunity to share with other people. Once again, well done, everyone. Um, yeah, that, that's that's all I have to say for tonight. Uh, yeah, please feel free to tag the tutor when you post it on social media. Uh, the tutor is Mr. Steven Onobiron. And and uh, feel free to tag Oversea Nurses as well. Yeah, uh, ho hopefully we can continue bankrolling this, you know. And then hopefully we can get more funding. Now we can pay Mr. Steven. A bit more money, you know, for the hard work he's doing. Okay. All right. So I have to head back, head back from my way home. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Steven. Uh, you can you can end the class the, the way you want. Um, very good job. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks so much, too.
So well, I want to if we don't have anything else, I think we can end the class. Um, I guess we we'll meet tomorrow by nine p.m. again. But please let's do assignments. If you have not gotten your big notes, um, your um, eighty limbs, get it. Write the dates of the exams. Write um your the score you are looking forward to having, and then divide into five parts. Write your parameters and proficiency. Check up on it every day. See that you are improving. You see. Um, if you can do this for 20 days, I can assure you, you can do IELTS June 21. So that is the beautiful thing. Thank you very much. And I think we can go. Thank you. So um, if, I don't know, if, maybe just give one minute, if anyone has anything to say, um, uh, we can unmute and speak before we leave finally. Um, thank you. Th thanks for the compliments. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye-bye. If we want to exit Zoom, do we leave? Yeah, you can, you can. Yeah. Yeah, you can. can. So, leave. Thank you. I don't know if I'm <laughs> they can hear me. Sir. Yeah, I can hear you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, thanks. You guys are up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Steven, and good night. Thank you, Mr. Steven. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. 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 Nice. Thank you, Thank you sir. God Thank you. bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank Thank you.